In this simple quick tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to sharpen a pair of scissors. A quality pair of scissors can be purchased in the United States for between $8 and $10. Most people will purchase a good pair of scissors, use them for two or three years until they go dull, then throw them away and buy a new pair. By learning this simple method for sharpening your scissors, you can save money over time. The sharpening stone we will be using and that we recommend is called a Lansky Puck. You can purchase this Lansky Puck on Amazon for approximately $8. Notice it has two sides, a coarse side and a fine side. All we need to work as a lubricant is a little bit of water. And now we'll start. Anytime we're sharpening any blade, we've got to concern ourselves with the angle of the edge. Where the angles come together to form an edge forms the sharp part of the blade. All we need to do is focus on sharpening the flat side on both portions of the scissors to make the angle where it meets the front flat portion a very sharp angle again, therefore giving us a sharp blade. The process is very simple. Please note that with the Lansky Puck, one of the advantages is that it has several angles. And as we sharpen our scissors, we're going to want to keep our blade flat against the angle of the stone the entire swipe for the entire pass. Also note, we will not be using the front of the Lansky stone because we are limited as in, once we meet resistance here, we can go no further. So, simply take a bit of water to moisten your stone Start with the rough side of the stone. We'll use the fine side later and simply make even slow passes. Make sure to make the same number of passes with both blades. For example, one, maintaining contact with the blade and the stone at all times. Two, contact never being lost from this angle of the stone. Three, four, five. Then we simply flip our scissors over to make sure we still have a fair amount of lubricant. We'll add a bit more water and we do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Note that the more passes we make, the sharper our blade will be. Make the appropriate number of passes to your desire, then flip your stone to the fine side. This will give you an even more fine tune and an even sharper blade. And once again, we make the same number of passes on both sides on the fine side so that we get an even cut when we use our scissors. One, two, three, four, five, add a bit of water, switch blades, one, two, three, four, five. Again, the more passes you make, the sharper your blades will be, but that is all there is to it. And then, as we can see, our scissors that were dull, as you can tell by the uneven cut we made on our wrapping paper before, are now very sharp indeed. So sharp, we can run them up the length of the paper as if they were new. And it cuts more like a razor, as long as we can keep our paper straight. You see we have a straight edged cut showing that we have sharp scissors whereas the previous cut was a jagged tear of a cut. So this, all, this is all there is to sharpening scissors. It's a simple process. So instead of throwing away your $8 scissors every two years, simply buy an $8 Lansky Puck from Amazon. Use a simple method. Keep your scissors sharp. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off The Grid, if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check back in with us for more next time.